Okay guys, welcome back. On this particular video, I'm still going to discuss <coughs> oxidation number. Oxidation number, nombor pengoksidaan. And dalam video ni akan dalam dui bahasa. Dui bahasa nombor pengoksidaan. Ini adalah bahagian dua sambungan daripada video sebelum ini eh. So you can look all my video in my playlist I have arranged accordingly dan video ni saya akan buat dalam dui bahasa. So kalau ada soalan apa-apa yang tak faham dalam video bahasa tentang video ini soalan dan sebagainya kamu boleh letak dekat ruang komen dekat uh, comment sections I will try my very best to reply as soon as possible. If you wish to communicate with me you always can communicate through my Instagram, drhusein underscore chemistry. Chemistry. So, okay. Without further ado, I'm going to I'm going to discuss. Dalam bahagian ni kita akan discuss polyions. Polyion. Polyions. Apa maksud polyions? When I say ions, yeah, guys, kita dah tahu dia adalah either cat ion or an ion an ion so kita akan discuss <coughs> about oxidation number for a poly an ion and cat ions eh? so i erase this a bit okay so let's discuss about the poly an ion and cat ion okay so example yeah poly cat ion or an ion <coughs> i have CO32 minus. Guys, dalam video sebelum ni, saya dah bagi a neutral molecules or neutral atoms which is, dia sama dengan kosong. When you plus plus everything, it's equivalent to zero. Dalam kes ni, kita tak boleh nak samakan dia dengan kosong. We cannot make this equivalent to a zero. Therefore, it become something like this, yeah, guys. You have one carbon, satu carbon, Tiga oksigen and equivalent to negative 2. Remember guys, this negative 2 is due to the charge of this ion. Uh -huh, I just place it. And you want to calculate the oxidation number for carbon. So it's going to be, it's going to be, you have a C you do not know. Okay. And plus with 3, the, the charge of the oxygen is negative 2 and negative 2 a simple mathematic negative 2 plus 6 therefore the oxidation number for this is a positive 4 this is how you calculate a uh, oxidation number for an uh, for an ion molecule and ions that's uh, ions poly and ions eh? so guys i'm going to give you more examples regarding of this Let's say you are given NO3 minus and you are interested with nitrogen. Again, it's easy. N plus with 3 O and equivalent to negative 1. Do it step by step, guys. Plus 3, negative 2 and negative 1. Bring to the other hand side. You get N is negative 1 plus 6. N is a positive 5. This is the oxidation number for nitro uh, this nitrogen in this compound nitrate. I give you more examples, guys. We will do a few examples before we go to it. We have a PO4 2 minus, uh, sorry, 3 minus a phosphate. Okay, so you have a oxygen, uh, sorry, phosphorus. So you have one phosphorus plus four oxygen equivalent to negative three P plus four negative two negative three and make sure you have this bracket indicate it's an oxidation number and plus eight. Finally, you get the oxidation number is positive five. Guys, this is how you calculate um, oxidation number for a poly and ions. Guys, I will give you a few more examples. Please have a look. 
you have for S two O three two minus examples and you are interested with the sulfur you have for S O four two minus again you are interested with this and you have for S O two this is not a poly anions a poly ions it's just a neutral but what I'm trying to say I'm going to calculate the oxidation number for sulfur in three different situations okay guys take some time and try to do this you have a 2s plus 3o then sama dengan negative 2 2 s tambah dengan 3 negative 2 into 2 and I do it step by step yeah, guys I hope you understand so you bring this to the other side 2 plus 6 S adalah positive 4 I hope I calculate it right ok then the 2 bring to the other side positive 4 divided by 2 finally the oxidation number for sulfur is positive 2 how about the second one we are going to look the second one <coughs> this is a normally in a, we used to look at it in a sulfuric acid now I just take out the ions to calculate the oxidation number you have a 1s plus 4o negative 2 and you have the s you do not know 4 negative 2 negative 2 bring to the other side as negative 2 plus 8 mm -hmm. and you have the s is positive 6 yes look at that it's the same element it is sulfur and sulfur but it has a different oxidation number. This is very normal because <coughs> oxidation number for an element can be changed. It can be different. But it, I have discussed this in my previous video. Ingat ya, yang, kalau kita ada unsur yang sama mempunyai nombor pengoksidaan yang berbeza, ini sangat normal. Yang ni saya dah bincang pun dalam video saya yang sebelum ini. So, rujuk dekat video tu eh. Okay, jadi yang tak boleh berubah adalah charge. Oxidation number, nombor pengoksidaan boleh berubah untuk unsur yang sama. Dan juga dekat sini, guys, you have the, let's say this one, you have one sulfur, satu sulfur, dua oksigen, and kosong, sulfur, dua, negatif dua. Look at here, look at here. You get another different oxidation number. Nampak tak guys? All are same element. Dia adalah unsur yang sama. Tetapi, nombor pengoksidaan untuk ketiga-tiga ni adalah sentiasa berbeza-beza. Maka, ini membuktikan bahawa charge dengan nombor pengoksidaan adalah dua benda yang berbeza. So, guys, stay tuned and subscribe my YouTube channel, please kalau kamu ada kawan-kawan yang boleh share information ni, to subscribe and share for uh, these channels and tell your friends. Thank you so much for your strong support. Stay tuned for more video.